Okay, YouTube. Um, here's another unboxing. This is actually the second part of the unboxing of my Model 32 J, um, JD Squared Tubing Bender. Um, last night, I, after we had a terrible night of Valentine's Day attempt activities, terrible restaurant experience, everything just went fucking completely wrong. Good thing that my fiance is cool and it is what it is. But came home, put this together. It's loosely put together. I just wanted to make sure I had all the parts and, and get it ready because I knew my die set was coming today. So here's the die set. And this die set is supposed to be, it better be, a one and a uh, one and three quarter inch die set and six point... 6.5 linear, or what do they call it, center line radius. I know there was a sticker on the box, so, yeah. So, 180 degree, 6.5. So let's open this up. Um, I'm going to check something, but I have a sneaky suspicion because I don't understand why JD Squared has a habit of sending out the bender a few days prior to the die set. Something's going on there, and it's probably a, a production thing. And, and I'm not going to tell you that this is the case because I don't know. I'm just assuming that JD Squared possibly has another company building their dies. And if they don't have them in stock, they have to wait for the other company to get them the die set. And this is, this is really on there. So let me, I don't know how to do this. I'm going to put down the camera real quick. So I can try to rip this open. I don't know if I could even begin to show you guys what's going on here. There, I guess. Holy shit, this box is hard to open. Oh, it's got staples. Good God. There we go. Okay, sorry about that. Didn't expect those big heavy duty staples on there. I didn't even see them because of the, the tape that they were using. Look at my dog over here. She's terrified of me opening boxes. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, this is nice. This is welding rod, I believe. But what this is, is the degree marker rod for the, for the kit. Or for the, for the bender. Let me show you here real quick. You have this. You mount this on there, and you point it, and this is what shows you your degree. Um, the reason why this is cool is because while I was putting this together, I realized there's two things that are missing. This and the Allen wrench to tighten down the anti-springback pin. And I'll show you that real quick. Now, I do have Allen wrenches, so I guess it's really not that big of a deal, but you would think that they would include that. So this is the anti-springback pin. And I'll show you how this works in a second, but as you can see right here where my thumb is, there's a there's an Allen set screw. And this block slides up and down this pin. Okay. In my honest opinion, they should have supplied you with that Allen wrench. I would have if it was my company. 
But then again, they didn't supply me with wrenches to tighten those down. I don't know. Again, it's it's a little nitpicky thing. It's not that big of a deal, to be perfectly honest with you. It's not a deal breaker by any means. So here's the here's basically the instructions on the on the degree pointer. That's what that little welding rod is. That's how it goes on to this die set. That's probably why they give it to you with the die because it actually attaches to the die, not the bender. So, and you can see here, I, I got to bend it into shape, which is fine. You know that again. This is. I have to show you once I get it fully set up how this actually functions. There's a there's other videos on YouTube if you're impatient and you want to just go out and find them. You, you can see them. JD Squared actually has her own videos and they talk about this this particular area so you, you don't have to necessarily wait for me to to figure out what that's about basically there's the the lockdown screw the pointer lock bolt as you can see there it pinches that piece of metal onto the die set there and then you're going to bend it so that it doesn't scrape along the point or on along the degree ring but you're just going to bend it so that it's right there along so that you have an edge that's in this vicinity it could even be way out here, it doesn't matter. Um, this whole degree ring is going to be adjustable and turnable. Once you take the tension out of your out of the bender, you slide a piece of tubing in there and you and you pull the you know you pull it tight so that there's no slack in there, then you're gonna twist this to zero it out. It doesn't matter where this is pointing, you'll twist this and zero it out. So when you pull the slack out, if this is pointed over here at like 10, you're just going to spin the degree thing until it reads zero. So that's how that works. That's why it's such a primitive piece of instrumentation, I guess. Okay. <laughs> Very good packing, by the way. You know, if this was if this wasn't packed in this, if it was like packing peanuts or or something else, that's massive. That would have knocked a hole in the in the box, and and yeah, that would have caused some problems. Very, very, very good packing. So here's a I don't know what the the technical term is for this, but. I can't even think of it. I do know what it is, but I just can't think of it. Basically, that's your your die, and this is your 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 guide, I guess, or slider. The tubing slides along those. The tubing doesn't slide around this. The tubing is wrapped around this, and this, the tubing slides through these. Okay, and <clears throat> apparently, according to to JD squared you really don't have to lubricate this all set up at all um, this is self lubricating metal of some sort of alloy that they're using um, I guess time will only tell as far as other reviews and people that have used this some people opt to spray some sort of a lubricant on on these or on their tubing when they're getting ready to bend a tube um, do not spray it on the on the big die. Again, the tubing does not slide on that whatsoever. It's getting wrapped around it. Okay, so there's no point in lubricating that, and you shouldn't lubricate that. According to JD Square, they tell you not to lubricate that. Um, they say if you want to lubricate this, you can, but it's not necessary. <coughs> so, anyways. Oh, they call it a follower die. I think I believe that's what it's called. Um, there's a proper way to set this up. This side's got a pin. This side doesn't. Um, I don't know if you can read that, but it says top. It also says hole number five. Okay. Um, it tells you what what size of die this is for, and. It also tells you what model down there, M32, Model 32 Bender. 
on those it tells you the tubing size so if you get this mixed up down the road when you you've got more than one die set that's how you figure it out this also tells you what size of die it is um, I do not see the word top on this but I can tell you right now that this is the top and how I know that is because if you have it upside down you're never going to be able to get any tubing in there but also because these lock holes they're they've got a ramp I guess you call it I don't know what the hell to call that but it is some sort of a a ramp type setup this pin slides into these holes okay but it only slides in that far that far okay when this turns when you're bending the tube it's gonna go up this ramp come to the come, excuse me let me try that again I'm not looking at my camera again it's gonna slide up the the angle it's gonna slide across here and then drop when it drops in there it's gonna prevent that die from springing back on you okay I, I believe they call this an anti spring back pin um, if I'm wrong I don't care that's basically what it's doing that is exactly what it's doing so let me wrestle this out this is basically your um, the tubing slides into here and let me pull this out and I'll try to show you guys this there's not there's not much to these die sets other than white Jesus Christ sorry about that so this does not have a top but it does say the the tubing size on there 175 okay how this is gonna work is this is gonna slide into here okay there's an extra pin that this came with that's gonna slide into that hole once that's in there you have this set bolt here and you got your tubing in there you'll tighten this down and it's gonna pinch your tubing <laughs> It's basically going to lock your tubing into there to keep it so as you start bending it, it doesn't slide back out of the out of this, which will cause wrinkling and cause you all kinds of issues if it does that. Okay, so this right here is the, the lock set, whatever, for your degree indicator. And, and yeah, that's it. You know, this, like I said, there's not much to this other than weight. Very fucking heavy. I'm probably going to hurt myself trying to maneuver this around. Yeah, see there's no indications on here for top, but like I said, the number goes up. The reason why it goes up is because of this. This needs to be on one side. Um, the die is actually it's a 180 degree die, but if you look closely it's, it can actually bend more than 180 degrees. The reason why that is is because you have you have to compensate for spring back. Um, I'm new to, to to bending tube, but from everything that I've ever seen, uh, you know, and this is going to vary different, you know, vary depending on the the tubing. But if you want a 90 degree bend you need to drag it out to like 93, 94 degrees and then the spring back should be somewhere, you know, and then it's going to spring back to somewhere around 90. So that's why the die is, is, is larger than 180 degrees so that you can compensate for that. But what I will tell you is, is don't be stupid and bend the tubing beyond 180 degrees because you're never going to get it off of this die. Okay, common sense, if you think about it, will tell you you got a, a piece of tubing that's shoved into this groove and you bend it around this way you need the only way it's coming off is to slide it that way okay if this is bent too far this way obviously the opening is going to be too small to slide off that way so 
If you're doing 180 degree bends, you better be smart and maybe do some practice stuff or you might be cutting that piece of tubing off of that bender or off that die set. So, anyway, that's the unboxing. I'm getting a lot more detail than I probably should for an unboxing. Great product. Very, very happy with it. The, the actual bender setup is phenomenal. It's more than I anticipated as far as its strength. Um, there is only one issue that I'm having, is, you know, out, outside of um, no Allen wrench. The bigger pin here, that was a pain in the ass to get in there. There was like some gummy material on there, probably some old lubricant or something like that. But it made it really difficult to slide that, that larger pin in into that hole. I had to I had to clean it off, you know, and oil it up just to get that one pin in. All the other pins slid in just fine, but it was in that area. And, and I'm I'm going to go ahead and assume that that pin is that tight because that I mean that's the main pivot point on the dice you know, on the bender. So for precise bends, that can't have any slop. So I'm assuming that that's the case, but. Again, I had to clean it off just to get it in there, and was, we're talking about nitpicky stuff here. The bender, outside of that, the bender is awesome. Okay, again, subscribe, comment, like. There'll be links in the description to the bender, as well as my Facebook page. Show your support on my Facebook page, and I'll talk to you guys later.